welcome to the newly opened Yige Beef Hot Pot that specializes in hand-cut fresh beef that has never been frozen and a gourmet selection of seafood. And during our visit, we had the ultimate surf and turf hot pot experience. You can choose from a group or solo hot pot setup. Each order of beef is hand cut thinly by their master Chinese chef. It is located at the Sinokan Corporate Center at Asiana City close to the Mall of Asia. For parking nearby, there is Starbucks and the East Ocean Palace. This restaurant comfortably seats 80 guests with two VIP rooms and the air conditioning is powerful and cold. Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. Today we're checking out the newest hot pot which opened Manila on July 20, 2023. It's called the Yige Hot Pot here in Asiana City in Paranaque, close to SM Mall of Asia. So the specialty over here is their fresh beef cut by their Chinese chef. The beef has never been frozen. So this is, should be an awesome experience and we can't wait to dig in. From their menu, we would highly recommend their hand-cut fresh beef red grouper, live shrimps, crabs, beef sashimi, vegetable platter, mushroom platter, tofu platter, salmon sashimi, assorted dumplings steamed and fried, and for their soup base, beef bone and spicy Sichuan soup. For refreshments, they offer fresh fruit shakes and a selection of Chinese alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages. To start really enjoying their fresh fruit shakes, I ordered the watermelon shake. Alexandra got the mango shake. And aside from that, their appetizers. We have kimchi over here, fried peanuts with salt, uh, fried beef that's spicy, that's a cucumber salad, potato salad, black fungus, and fried pork. It's sauce time. Let's make our sauce. So I've already tried a little bit of everything here, but I think the best sauce starts off with a little bit of spicy chili oil. Just a little bit, you don't want to make it too crazy. Uh, this chili tastes so good. That one you need a little bit more of. Of course, the base of any sauce is soy sauce. A little bit of sesame oil. Oh, this is so good, guys. Mushroom sauce. Not every hot pot place has this mushroom sauce. Make it a little bit healthy. Get a lot of greens in there. Some garlic. A little bit of ch fresh chilies. I always like a little bit of peanuts as well. Tons of wan soy. Satay. Yeah, baby. Little bit of black vinegar for acidity. Oh, this one's also very interesting. It's a chive flour sauce. And then some of this super spicy Chinese Lao Gan Ma sesame sauce to take that heat down a notch. And that's it. That is my hot pot sauce. Our hot pot feast is about to begin and we're starting off with the King's Seafood Platter. So over here we have salmon sashimi, this red grouper that is absolutely stunning, and a few swimming crabs over here. 
Let's get this party started. Okay, salmon sashimi. Melts in your mouth like butter. For soups, we ordered the double flavor hot pot. So we have the spicy soup. And guys, this is super spicy. Tons of chili in here. Look at those Swechon peppercorns. Oh yeah. And of course, their beef bone soup pot. It is a fish. The red grouper is a real delicacy. It's milder and sweeter than the black grouper. The crabs add tons of umami to your soup base. That shrimp was so fresh and so easy to peel. Mmm. I love the sweetness and the crunch of that. In combination with this spicy Sichuan soup, which is mouth numbing and super spicy. God, it's making me perspire like crazy, but I'm enjoying every moment. Ah, I am in hot pot heaven right now. They also have a selection of drinks from China. beef sashimi. Now I'm gonna try their beef sashimi. This is the cut from the upper shoulder to the upper leg. A little bit of soy sauce, wasabi. Wow, that is surprisingly tender. It's a very thin cut. I'm definitely gonna have another piece of this. This is definitely a must try over here. Mm. So well. Delicious. Shrooms time. Yeah. Shiitake, golden mushrooms, enoki. Oh. How's that crab, Alexandra? It's really nice, very moist, but it's very hard to suck. Yes, I'm highly recommended. I have to say, this is definitely one of the best and most authentic Chinese hot pots that we've been to in quite some time. I really enjoyed this selection of freshly hand-cut beef and their fresh seafood. Imagine this red grouper, as well as the crabs and the live shrimp, which is practically jumping off the table. And in terms of the soup bases, oh, what a, what a selection that they have. But we really enjoyed the spicy soup and the beef bone soup. That was just so savory and full of umami. And the spice level really makes you perspire like crazy. And the sauce station, wow, what so many different choices. It's crazy. You can really make, customize your own sauce and make your experience even better. So what do you guys think? This is, was definitely a memorable and interesting experience. I think I never tried anything like that before. There is so many hot pot places, but this one definitely very special. First of all, I first time tried shrimp alive, and I was surprised how tasty it is, even though you feel a little bit guilty by cooking it. But the meat tastes incredible. It's very soft, tender, and also very sweet. I also like that amazing presentation for our 
red grouper and salmon sashimi and crab. It was beautiful, of course, Instagrammable. It was like a piece of art. And the fish was so tasty, plumpy, so nice. I think I ate almost everything on my own, but I couldn't stop. And parts of meat, since they said that it's not frozen, it's fresh beef, it was super tender and super tasty. There is also some parts which is more tender than other, but still each part, each different part has a nice texture. I enjoyed also the choice for the sauce station. It was so many ingredients, also not everything, not all regular what you see in those hot pot places. I was enjoying, I ate even, I finished two bowls of sauce. So overall, I would highly recommend this place. Thanks for inviting me along. I totally enjoyed the food here. I'm not much of a beef eater, but I really enjoyed pretty much the the soup, the, the soup bro uh, broth flavoring, especially the spicy. Uh, I haven't had spicy soup in a long time, and it's pretty authentic. I also enjoyed the the fruit shakes. It's typically without any sugar. Oh yeah, the condiments. They had so many, so many different kinds of condiments for making your sauce, which is pretty good, right? I love the vegetables, the mushrooms, uh, and what else do you like? They have their like sort of banchan stuff also here. Uh, but I would like to thank Miss Stephanie. Where's Miss Stephanie? She's somewhere there. Miss Stephanie cooked for us, cooked for us some some of the beef really quick because the beef slices are cut so thinly. It, it took her only like what three Two dunks, seconds. three dunks into the broth, and it's already cooked and ready. It's so fresh and it is very tender. Though I'm not a beef, I'm not a fan of beef, but I ate some anyway. I really like the steamed dumplings, the mango shake, and the freshly sliced beef shoulder. They were all really fresh, really nice, and my favorite was, was really the beef shoulder. It's really like the softest out of anything else. Really highly recommend the beef shoulder. I personally enjoyed the red grouper, the crabs, as well as the live shrimp and the salmon sashimi, and the fresh uh, hand-cut beef shoulder, and the fresh veggies, and the mushroom platter, as well as the dumplings. And in terms of the soup, definitely that spicy beef bone soup. So thanks for watching, guys. Please stay safe. We'll see you in the next episode. So they also have private hot pot rooms. This one has a tea room, good for 14 guests with individual hot pots. Love this tea table set. VIP room number two, good for 10 guests.